Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, find out why some of your schoolmates are proud to be EP. Plus, check out the activities board for how to get involved. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Colin Hieronymus. And I'm Elise Sands. October's Student of the Month is senior Tyler Browning. Tyler was nominated by Ms. Anderson and Mrs. Eberly for having a positive attitude, being a hard worker, always willing to help others, and just for being an absolute pleasure at having class. Congratulations, Tyler. Want to learn more about manufacturing? Interested in welding? Come to Manufacturing Day on October 12th. We will be visiting Morton Industries. Email Mrs. Lake at mlake at EP309 to sign up. Best Buddies will meet in the cafeteria from 3 to 4.15 on October 12th. Join Best Buddies for pumpkin painting, memory making, and friendship forming fun. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Harris at eharris at ep309.org. EP students must show their IDs to get into all home football games and volleyball games. If you do not have your ID, it will cost $3 to enter. Once you leave the home football game, you will not be allowed to re-enter. Jostens will be here on Tuesday, October 11th for any senior that would like to turn in a paper order form. An online order can also be placed by November 3rd. The freshman sophomore girls tennis team beat Pekin 7-2 on September 27th with singles wins from Nayara Steinseifer, Kiara Brown, Taylor Sutton, Kaylee Gruber, and Victoria Mays. Doubles wins from Steinseifer Brown and Sutton Gruber. Way to go, ladies. The Fresh Soft Girls Tennis Team also finished 5th overall at the Middle Atlantic Conference Tournament in Metamora on October 1st. Nayara Steinseifer placed 5th at number 1 singles, Kiara Brown placed 4th at number 2 singles, Taylor Sutton and Kaylee Gruber placed 5th at number 1 doubles. Congrats Raiders! Congratulations to Connor Watson who shot a 77 at sectionals on Monday, October 3rd and advanced to the 2A state finals. On Saturday, October 1st, the girls' swim team participated in the Richwoods Midwest Invitational and took third place out of 12 teams. Ava Joukowsky swam one individual event where she posted a season best time. Elise Ahrens also swam one individual event, the 53, and placed in the top 10. Kara Kaczynski swam two individual events, the 100 Fly and the 200 IM, where she posted a season best time. Elise and Kara both earned points towards the third place finish. Nice job, ladies. Congratulations to the JV and Varsity Volleyball team for their wins against Canton Tuesday, October 4th. Fantastic job, ladies. On Tuesday, October 4th, the girls' swim team won a tri-meet against Macomb and Olympia. Elise Ahrens finished second in the 200 freestyle and was part of the first place 400 free relay. Kara Kaczynski finished second in the 200 IM and was part of the winning 200 free relay. As always, nice job, girls' swim team. Congratulations to the girls' varsity volleyball team for their second win against Dunlap on Thursday, October 6th. Way to go, ladies. Our last shout out goes to the EP Marching Raiders, who took first place in 5A at the Metamora Marching Band competition this past weekend. Way to go, Marching Raiders. This has been this week's Raider Report. Gavin G. Man Franklin is back with this week's Weather Report. But now let's get down to this week's weather now. Tonight's forecast will be a low of 61 degrees with rainy weather. Wednesday will be a high of 73 degrees to a low of 48 degrees with rainy weather. Thursday will be a high of 61 degrees to a low of 39 degrees with partly cloudy weather. Friday will be a high of 55 degrees to a low of 46 degrees with sunny weather. Saturday will be a high of 68 degrees to a low of 39 degrees with partly cloudy weather. And Sunday will be a high of 54 degrees to a low of 34 degrees with partly cloudy weather. So everybody stay safe, stay strong, have a great Raider day, and I'll see you all later. Coming up, find out why we're proud to be EP. And check out the activities board for how to get involved. I'm Phoebe Johnson and I'm here with uh, Madison. Welcome back for Homecoming Week Raiders. Why are you proud to be EP? Um, I'm proud to be EP because our homecoming weeks are super fun and I love being on the volleyball team. Thank you. I'm here with... Gabe Ziegler Harris. And Gabe, why are you proud to be EP? Because um, a lot of students like to show love to our sports teams and uh, the teachers are very helpful. Thank you, Gabe. I'm here with Mercedes Sassman. And Mercedes, why are you proud to be EP? I'm proud to be EP because 
Airbridge is very supportive and it's just a very good community here. Thank you. I'm here with uh, Ben Osborne. Why are you proud to be EP? Uh, one of my favorite things about the school is just how many opportunities we have just for like clubs and activities and things you get involved in and there's just there's lots of things going on and ways to get students involved in. Thanks Ben. several different clubs and activities that the EPCHS offers, such as Key Club, Guitar Club, Car Club, Science Olympiad, anything that your mind can think of. How do I sign up? Well, the information is here. So as you can see, uh, for Guitar Club, you can email uh, Mr. Oliger, or for uh, Chess Team, you can email Ms. Dimitrov. All at the activity board? Make sure to get involved. The activities board is pretty cool. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, go to the school's website, ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Colin Hieronymus. And I'm Elise Ernst. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider day. day.